That was a good win. That was a good win. You know, I told the team to, to say that I was proud of them is a massive understatement. You know, um, we knew um, that team was was they were playing good football and they have been now for five weeks coming off a bye and uh, we knew they were going to be ready and it was going to come down to the wire. The team knew this. We talked about patience, man. Patience, keep your composure, communication, and uh, and then attitude and. And our guys did that. We hung in there, and we didn't bat an eye. Things, you know, appear to, to go, start going a little south uh, there at the end. Got the ball back. You know, we stopped a two-point conversion, which was huge, and uh, defensively. And then golf and that old line takes us right down the field with Gibbs and, and St. Brown and, man, Bates. How about that? What a kick. What a kick, man. Um, so... Just a great team win, complimentary football across the board, offense, defense, special teams when we need it most, and uh, really proud of these guys. That's a huge win on the road, tough environment, uh, first one, and you don't want to say must win, but we needed that in a bad way. Well, I think I said it, right? I mean, I think that's when you send him out. Um, I just, you felt good about it, you know, and when you, uh, you know, we've had five games with him, NFL games. Um, and then, you know, when you see him every day in practice and you give him the crowd noise and you move the spot and I'm yelling at him and you just applying pressure and to watch him, he just continues to make these kicks. You feel pretty good when you, he gets thrust into it. And it's not the same, but yet it is. We just felt like his, his confidence has grown and he would just go out there and it's just the next kick. And he did that. So really proud of him, man. Really proud of him. Yeah. He's a stud. I mean, he is. And uh, I just got asked a question about, you know, just him and, you know, what did, what did you see? This goes back to what did you see when, you know, in 21 when Brad and I acquired him? And, you know, and then what makes him, you know, and it's the, the guy's got arm talent. There's no question. But it's what he's got here and what he's got here. And that's what makes him um, a dangerous player. And it's what makes him um, really one of these these guys that you you can build around because he's a winner man he will find a way to win he'll find a way to put the offense in position to win the game he doesn't get frazzled he's tough uh he's competitive and he's just man he's reliable he's reliable and uh and i love the guy man and and uh he, once again he steps up huge for us there on the road division game No, I, look, some of that early, that was our own doing a little bit. Now, look, they were playing well, believe me. They, they were playing good defense, but there's a couple of things we felt like we should have we should have gotten some conversions. We should have gotten uh, made some plays there that were our own errors, and uh, especially two, two different series there. And so once we felt like we got them cleaned up, we just needed a conversion, and once that happened, we got to roll in there a little bit. So... Um, and that's that's all it takes. You just get that first first down, and now you're you know you're beginning to move the ball. Just he, confidence is going sky high. He's getting better and better. And there again, he's still kind of young and new to the safety position for us. You know, it's, sometimes you forget that, but it, you can tell how fast he's growing in the position. Um, and I'm telling you, the sky's the limit for him. I mean, he's just. He is the ultimate. Uh, he's the ultimate football guy. I mean, he he understands how to play the game. He's instinctive. He's tough. He's smart. He's a great tackler. He's a ball guy. He's got radar, um, and he he's one of those guys who can change the game for you. And uh, I thought that was a touchdown. You know, that was I was like, man, I don't need to be conclusive. But uh, Anyway, I, and, but you felt like even after that, he's going he's gonna to get another one of those. Like, he's going to find a way to, to make another one happen. That's just the type of guy he is, type of player. A couple more guys. Defense at the big stops early on and then prepared at the end of the game. So, what did they get their performance in the whole? Man, they battled. 
those guys fought, and we we were very well aware of what's over there. And um, Jefferson is not easy to contain at all. He makes you um, you have to constantly think about him, and you got to roll to him, you got to shift to him, you got to double him, and oh, and don't let him run the ball either. By the way, you know, and that's not an easy task. But I thought AG put together a damn good game plan. I thought these guys executed. They got us on a couple things. But, man, I, I tell you what, when we needed a critical stop there at the end of the game, um, you know, to get that ball back and then to finish it out after we, we kicked the field goal, our defense did that. Situational football, um, big play, man. Just I, I just thought at the end of the day they stepped up when we needed it. I thought that secondary played pretty dang good, you know, and um, because of – those receivers have, have eaten some people up, you know, and Jefferson always does. So I thought they were competitive. I thought we uh, we challenged, and um, and those guys stepped up. He was huge. He was huge, you know, whatever it was, 160 all-purpose yards and really came to life. And we just we felt like Gibby's been so close to just – Exploding, and we felt like this was the game. Uh, and he really, he really came to life when we needed it most, um, and helped across the board. And what a smart play on that may have been the best play, you know, on Leafs. Well, it wasn't. His run was the best, but then the second one was that. What a smart play to just kind of shield him, you know. Otherwise, you're going to get a, a penalty. Play comes back. It was just, it was, it was really good, man. And uh, and then Leaf takes it in. So uh, he's a weapon for us. Played really well. No, 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 and I would not ask him that, so, um, no, and, you know, look, he's, none of us want that to happen, certainly he doesn't, he, you know, and he's sick about it, and, uh, and, but that's why, man, we coach it, we teach it, we work it, and he'll come back stronger than ever, you know, and, uh, you know, those, unfortunately, sometimes those happen, that's why you, you just keep making it an emphasis, you know. I need to watch the tape, you know, to really uh, digest that. There was a couple of times things felt a little long, you know, like, man, we're covering for a bit. But I can't say that that caught my eye, like, oh, man, we're – so I need to watch the tape. I know we battled in there, um, and, and uh, you know, Mac and, and Levi and, and uh, Reader, Pascal, O'Connor came in a little bit, Ukwu. And so I thought by committee, you know, those guys battled in there and, and – uh, I think, you know, really, we did what we had to do, did what we needed to do for today and for that win. Time is on our side 
Lighten up Take me on your magic river Tell me all your dreams align Sign me up And tell me about the people that you know Who are trying to feel alive Life can get hard, so honey, if you need to cry Just come share my pillow And rain, rain, go away Time is on our side